this this is the kind of game that she likes to play, like uh, text adventure type stuff. Um, but she's pretty big into the uh, the PC 88, 98, x 68000 stuff. So yeah, yeah, it does, doesn't it? I love the look of it though. It's it's really nice. It even has like the cursor trail as well, <laughs> the classic cursor trail, and the the fonts like are actually um, period appropriate as well, period accurate. Like, uh, um, you know, the, the, the typeface that they use for the interface is actually really, uh, really close to it. So it's actually pretty nice. Uh, we'll stick with this color scheme for now, but I might change it later on, though. Um, I'm trying to find a color scheme that's both got very high contrast, but also has a little bit of color in it. Because uh, I think it looks quite nice with, like, just another one or two colors added to it, like for three or, three or four color palettes. Um, I did actually look around online to see if um, anyone's actually made mods for this to change the color palette to something a little bit better. Um, couldn't find anything. I did find somebody had actually done a reshade um, like plugin for it, so that might be that might be an idea to have a look at that. But uh, we're not using any actual gameplay mods in this. This is pure vanilla um, and uh, clean as whistle, and it's so good. <laughs> I love it. Anyway, right so. We're gonna just jump into quick play. Uh, we played yesterday with, uh, I think it was Guizo um, as the, the old god, um, which naturally made things quite difficult. Um, and I actually think, I think we had the idol as our character. Like, so she had like really high charisma um, and could recruit people quite easily. Um, but I didn't know how to do that until like the third mystery in. I was like, shit, I'm losing like uh, reason. <laughs> yeah, it's got mod support too. Like, uh, the modding community is actually doing quite a lot of stuff for this at the moment, like custom characters, um, custom mysteries, things like that, and the, the the developer fully supports it as well. Like, there's a there's an option on the title screen for mods that you can actually um, add to it, which is really nice. Yeah, since 2019, so this game is, like, community-backed, so it's, it's really nice. Quick play. <clears throat> right, yeah. I think the color scheme looks nice, although the green sky looks a bit weird. <laughs> this color scheme would be perfect if it was like blue sky or something. Um, but yeah, something strange is happening in our town. Rogue figures can be seen gathering in the woods at night. People are going missing. Disgusting creatures are terrorizing the seaside. The rapid technological prowess of the modern era brings comfort, but also new unknown threats. Old gods. Malicious eldritch, eldritch beings who ruled the earth eons ago are awakening as reality starts to crumble. <laughs> Some cyber angel. Armed with clues, spells, and your dwindling sanity, you'll investigate mysteries across the city and in realms beyond, and also, we're delivering tofu by the look of it as well. <laughs> I like how it's like still got wheel spin going on, even though we're like out of the car. <laughs> how, does, how does this work? <laughs> anyway. Not questioning it. An old train slows down and stops at its last station. The end of the world is at hand and you've finally arrived in the Doom Town. <laughs> yeah, just hanging out the window, isn't he? Oh god, we got him again. Alright, so we're playing against Goizo again. Goizo. Yeah, so this old god's debuff um, raises Doom if you rest at home. Um, which will be a bit of a problem depending on what we actually end up with. Yeah, so I guess most people already know the deal with this, but you, uh, in order to complete the game, you need to finish five um, randomly assigned mysteries um, and also access the lighthouse with those keys that you get and complete the, the actual mission at the top, which I think is destroy the, uh, the summoning ritual. Um, not an easy game, though. Also, green water. <laughs> Yes, Guizo again. I don't know who's this character anyway. He's got like high strength, high um, perception, decent charisma and decent knowledge. So we might be okay with this one. Well, we start with the camera as well, which is really good. Anyway, right. You check your mailbox. It's empty. I love how the music is like also like um, period accurate as well, like uh, old computer style. It'd be cool if, like, they ever made, like, a PC-98 sequel, like, styled sequel to this, because that would be so good. <clears throat> anyway, right. Right, so anything in the cupboard first? 
it's uh, nothing in the cupboard. I mean, there's a bottle there, but yeah. Yeah, the music's so good in this. I've been listening to the music like a lot <laughs> lately. I mean, there's a there is a bottle there, but I can't do anything with it. I guess. No, I guess you don't get a bottle in this game, right? In this run. All right. Uh, what have we got? Let's put the uh, the Hawaiian shirt on. Also, I need the money first, yeah. One fun. So I got five funds, yeah. Right, so there's a couple of things that I um, realized yesterday when I was playing. Um, when you have a, whenever you have zero funds, you get a an event randomly where you have to um, exchange like either stamina or reason or something to uh, to get extra funds. I'm quite certain that if you like, if you don't go to zero funds, then that never happens, which means that I can actually keep my health and shit up. Um, so I'm going to just try and be a little bit more frugal with my spending in this game, rather than going absolutely ham on stuff. Um, but that should be alright for now. There's no... I want that thing in there. Give me that thing. Hold on, is there anything in storage? No, okay. Dee 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 dee. Watch TV. Actually, I have a question. Can you go in the bath straight away? Oh, you can! <laughs> Oh, no, am I capped, am I? Alright. But uh, I can actually get the, the, the XP boost straight away. <laughs> right. You want little people? Hey! I saw you there. <laughs> Alright, okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna be... Well, I'm gonna be mindful of... Um, events and things like that that actually reduce my, stam uh, my stamina or my reason. Um, because I actually want to try and finish a run, um, but yeah, let's let's try and get something going here. Uh, we do want to go to the shop straight away once we actually get out there, though. Um, right, so what missions have we got first? Yeah, inexplicable morbid events have been plaguing your town for some time now. You've marked down five of them, hoping that there's something connecting them. You can tackle these five mysteries in any order you want. Beware, your decisions will haunt you and influence yet unsolved mysteries. Right, so we've got the bloody brief of a beckoning bullet in, which I think is the computer. I don't know this one. Sorrowful Saga of the Moonlight Sailors. Not had that one yet. A tragic Tale of the Thaumaturgy Teacher, so that's probably in the school. A chilling Chronicle of a Crimson Cape. Hmm? The eerie episode of Evolving Eels. Oh, that's the one in the apartment where... You have the, the eel jar, so I know these ones. Um, that one ends with a boss, I think. That one ends with a boss. Quite certain I've seen this one end with a boss as well. And that one. <laughs> Shit. Because I want to try and do the bosses like as early as possible, but... Uh, uh, I don't know which one's the worst one to go for first. Um, yeah, all of them have bosses by the look of it, so... Uh, which one is probably the uh, less problematic one to deal with? Left behind. Connection trouble. Uh, let's go with the eels first then. Yeah, let's go with the eels first. Energy, what's up? While returning to your home, someone suddenly bumps into you. Did you know? You turn around, it's your friend living in the same apartment complex. Kana, that weird dude is back. You know, the one who studies fish. You shrug, opening the door. Kana follows and immediately enters the kitchen. While later, she returns with two cans of soda. Aren't you curious? What weird fish did he bring this time? She grins. <laughs> A, B, C, D, E, Cthulhu. Right, uh, cigarettes. What are those? Bullets? Okay. Right, investigate. Alright, so first things first, I actually want to go shopping. And I probably want to try and get some people to help out as well, if I can. Investigate Seaside twice. Let's go... Is that a weapon shop? It's not, is it? He 
police station, the, the hospital, no, 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 hardware shop. Ah, so it's the hardware shop, it's the weapon shop, is it? Yeah, I might go to the dog shop in a sec, but I want a weapon at the very least. I don't mind spending a little bit of doom right at the beginning just to actually check the shops out. Crowbar. Hey, the shovel. <laughs> but a strength weapon, yeah. 495 or 6120. 475 though for a hammer. Yeah, there's a character that's a Yakuza um, that will access whatever this is. Um, we're not that character. I might go for the hammer actually. The, the problem is it's chance to hit 50, so that's that's a bit of an awkward thing, but uh, regain stamina might be helpful, considering that this is a strength character. And the music is so good. <laughs> It's either that or go for money, but money wasn't really working well yesterday because of um, the fact that this weapon takes fucking forever to swing, so... I might go for the hammer, actually. It's like 475.50, whereas the shovel is 6.120.60. Yeah, we'll go for the hammer. I want to check the... the shop as well. Kainahan, what's up? Can I get the... I'll get the compass. Nice. Map. Investigating village or forest has a small chance of lowering... That's actually really cool. If I can get some money for that, I might get it. I want the... the... Energy drink. <laughs> I want the compass, though. Just for the uh, EXP boost. Right. We're good. Let's go. This is more than enough. Right. Um, seaside twice to complete the quest, though. Let's do the seaside first then. Got a friend. Crabs are feasting on a bloated corpse, carried to the beach by waves. Uh search your body. Oh my it's too stamina, fuck. <laughs> Reaching for the body you're attacked by several crabs. Oh, that's a dexterity check, shit. Investigate seaside again. You decide to enter a small shady bar in the docks. Maybe some of the old fishermen can help you in your quest. However, persuading them might prove difficult. Am I talking to them? Minus one reason. You catch the fishermen in a good mood. They tell you tales of sunken cities and have to bite underwater things with too many legs. <laughs> Frickin' crabs. You may be going crazy, but you swear something is watching you from the sea. No shit. Right, um... Costs doomed to enter, regain stamina and reason. Well, for now we're okay. Let's just carry on. Investigate apartments. Right, so I saw the creepy neighbor carrying some jars inside his apartment. I wonder, what weird fish did he find this time? Will you check it out? He will surely recognize me if I try to do it myself. Please? Well, you're causing me trouble, eh, Connor? <laughs> Mr. Ooh, your neighbor is a... Or a manga artist, he is struggling to come up with a satisfying ending for his newest story. Uh, I know what that activates and I'm not going to bother this time. <laughs> I'll leave that for now. Jaws full of people. What's up, Raccoon? Let him come up with his own stuff. Share your experience. It was all a dream. You're a genius, he shouts, grabbing a pencil. Excuse me now, I've got a best seller right. You rolled your eyes and prepared to leave. Alright, that's fine. <laughs> right. Dude's working at school, right? We could break into his office. What do you mean we shouldn't? It must be empty because he just came back and his classes begin next week. Alright. The music is so good in this. Costs doomed to enter the schoolyard. I might see if I can... Um, 
recruit people actually. My charisma is like 6, so it might be worth trying. I mean, at least in this early stage, because I might actually get um, I might actually get some items that are uh, reduced doom later. I mean, I think what is four? Is it four doom to enter sub areas? No, two. Okay, right. So yeah, let's gossip. It's been so hard to get some sleep, lady. Observe. Look nervous. It's to join you. Yeah, nice. Okay, so. It's gossip. I keep hearing a wailing sound coming from the third store in the girl's bathroom. Yeah, nice. Okay. It's gossip. How'd you do in your English exam? Patchy is staring at the clouds. Look like heads. They seem relaxed. Plus one dex. Plus one perception. Ah, damn it. You can only recruit two. Well, one dex, one perception seems good then. Could have done with strength though, but that's fine. Okay. Right, let's go to the school then. You hear a faint sound while walking outside the biology classroom. Inside is an old anatomy model. It's heart beating. The sight almost makes you sick. Yeah, I mean he wouldn't. Uh, he wouldn't join me, so I might come back some other time. If I can actually reduce my doom a little bit before that happens, and I'll be fine. The neighbor's office at school is empty. You do find a few jars all filled with weird eel-like fish. Excuse me. And despite your protests, Kana decides to take one jar home. Well, of course. <laughs> have you ever seen an eel like this? It's so freaky. Don't you have a feeling it's watching us? How can she sip a soda so calmly staring at this creepy creature? Friends. <laughs> As you prepare bath, you think about uh, you think about all the possible leads so far. You're very tired, so maybe ice cold water is a good idea. Sure. Yeah, nice strength check. Ice cold water revitalizes you, and you're ready for the investigation. Yeah, so I guess certain certain checks are like staff based. That was actually quite good. Forty exp. Okay. I've seen him burning some notes behind our apartment building. Let's go and check it out. Is this eel even alive? Let's go. Corridor. Telephone sounds and multiple voices are too loud for you to ignore. When you enter the apartment, everything turns silent. Hey! Gossip junkie. <laughs> So I can hit for four-ish. And uh, 54. Alright, so I can't actually do... No, I actually could do... Allies, this and... Uh, that's about as close as I can get. <laughs> it's a six plus six. Fifty-five percent chance to hit though. Hmm. That's eighty-five percent chance to hit for ten. Oh, missed, of course. Right, so I've got camera flash. Both at the same time. Yeah, okay. Nice, dodged. Good. I like the camera. <laughs> Yeah, this is what happens when you gossip too much. She's like dead, so... Kinda was right, someone tried to burn some papers. They must have been in a hurry because some of the papers look salvageable. You both returned to your apartment and tried to decipher the notes. 
Okay, I'll run the notes. Something legend from the something prefecture eels tell of a small village of robbers who would kill all visitors and dump their corpses into a lake full of eels. Something eels of the something prefecture could lay the eggs inside human something something. That's helpful. <laughs> so weird your neighbor really was into eels it seems you begin to wonder if spying on your neighbor was a good idea to begin with bender what's up good evening despite your best efforts you feel like the neighborhood is starting to change locations threat level increases there must be something more we can learn i'll try to break into his apartment tomorrow morning i wonder what he's hiding in there you shrug non-committally. You just wish you could throw this damn jar in the trash. Okay. Seems like a fairly long one. Walking on the beach, you spot a weirdly coloured rock. It seems to be covered in some kind of black algae. Getting closer, you, re you realise it's not a rock. What the fuck? Drown a sponge. <laughs> Well, there's plenty of zombies in this stream, so... I'm gonna flash it to profit to damage. Dodged, nice, okay, good. I'm gonna flash it again, just to reduce its power as much as possible. I'm missing attacks though, unfortunately. Yeah, missing a lot of attacks here though. One, two, three. Okay. Ah, you got me. No, it's one reason, okay. Fine. One, two, three. Missed. Okay. And five. One, two, three. <sighs> Good. Thinking about how stupid it is of Kana to try and break into your neighbor's apartment, you go to sleep. You spend an entire day waiting for Kana. Where the hell is she? Not the school, is she? A tall woman with an unsettling face and twitching lips stops you. I'll be a new biology teacher. Could you help me move some of my stuff to my new office? Help. Yeah, nice. Okay, look, check. Five experience is always nice. Kana's been missing since yesterday. You decide to check out the neighbor's apartment yourself. Okay, this is the last... the last mission for this bit. Why were you flashing? Huh, weird. Okay. Oh. Modifies the skill check. I don't even need the burnt nose. You cautiously enter your neighbor's kitchen. You are shocked to see countless jars filled with eels flailing around restlessly. Where the hell is Kana? Uh, the bedroom? You finally found Kana. I, I found the neighbor, but when his eye burst, I slipped on the blood and lost consciousness. I'm afraid there's something in my own eye now too. Oh God. <laughs> We must go to a hospital or we must puncture her eye now. I kind of want to puncture her eye now, just for shits and giggles. Because <laughs> I've not done this bit yet, hold on. Right. Um. Hold still, go. Well, can I even survive the blood loss? <laughs> Shocked, you see countless tiny eels crawling out of your friend's eye in all directions. <sighs> well, can I even survive the blood loss? You rush to the hospital with Kana, getting a lot of attention from, from horrified people. 
Your friend is taken immediately to the operating theatre and you collapse on a chair in the waiting area. Fall asleep. Wake up, dude. You've been sleeping for over three hours. You groggily open your eyes to see your friend. Kana is wearing an eye patch. Not so pretty anymore, huh? I couldn't exactly tell the doctors the truth about what happened and I'm pretty sure I won't be winking with my left eye anytime soon. But thank you for saving my life. Yeah, don't worry about it. Continue. You're still processing the events of the previous night. Corpse eating eels that lay the eggs in eyes? Sitting with your friend Kana before your apartment building, you watch the police officers emptying out your neighbor's place. You're ending A, nice, okay. Knowledge is key, 30 EXP. Uh, throw investigation, 15, minus 3 doom, good. One reason and stamina and day passes, cool. Nice. So we can get a level here. So what we got here, we have dexterity. Dexterity seems to be going up. Um, deduction, bonus EXP gain for completing a mystery. That's kind of nice, but that means I have to complete a mystery. Plus one look. Hmm. <clears throat> I think I want to... Um, actually, I want to go for dexterity here. Yeah, dexterity sounds good, and I think I might put a point in strength as well. Um, normally I would go for the health, but uh, this time I actually want to try and get my stats up quite high. Particularly strength, because I think strength will actually reduce the time um, for each action in attack. Let's go. The old god stirs. Click here to reveal its effect. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. There's something wrong with the tap water. It is black and oily and glistening, smelling like death. You hope it's just a temporary issue. Yeah, resting raises doom as well. This is not a good situation to be in. It's a terrible situation to be in. Anyway, inside your mailbox you find a small key. What's it doing in there? Hello? Bang bang, bang bang bang, take the key. Ah oh, shit. Yeah, I can't take a bath. <laughs> yeah, that in's mouth case was pretty nice. Everything is doing reason damage unfortunately though. The host is gutting a big octopus, at least that's what she claims, but there are way too many ten tentacles. <laughs> Oh, you can save, okay. <laughs> Access my storage, uh, I don't need to here. But got one fund left. That sucks, god. No bath makes this really bad. <sighs> okay, let's just carry on then. The only thing I can do is rest if I need to get my stats up again. Um, let's do... Let's do the tragic tale of the Thaumaturgy teacher. Takeda, what's up? Yeah, it's been designed to look like an old, like, Macintosh or PC-98 game. Um, it's great though. This is easily one of the best games I've played this year. <coughs> um, let's go with the... this one. So, 2B used to be one of the most outstanding classes in the school, at least before the teacher's disappearance. Her replacement glides through the school, entrancing all those around her with a soft voice and calming, emotionless eyes. Now she stands at the front of the class, scribbling occult symbols in chalk and hissing lessons about the old gods. The children no longer play but sit in their seats until dark, chanting along learning of the Eldritch Masters and preparing to serve them. So do I actually get to keep Kana? Hold on. Oh, I do get to keep Kana. Nice. 
Receive minus one damage from attacks during combat and combat. Perfect. And Kana's good actually. She'll reduce the amount of damage I take. Aquas, what's up? Good evening. Right, so I actually want to do downtown first to get this out of the way, and then we'll go straight into the uh, the actual mission itself. Um, but can I rest actually? Hold on. Punished by Fuya. You bandage up the fresh wounds. Plus five doom though. You phone your best friend and talk about unrelated stuff. Plus two stamina and reason. Perfect. Time flies so fast you prepare yourself to leave and continue a long investigation. That's fine. Yeah, as long as I've got some reason, they'll be fine. Right, downtown, is it? I love this music. Yeah, we're not going to do the, the main quest just yet. We want to actually get the downtown bit out of the way first. You try to avoid mirrors, afraid of what could be waiting on the other side. Yeah, we know exactly what that is. <laughs> Agent of Guizo. Alright, do downtown again. Investigating shop, okay. Seeing the two chopped off heads, you can't help but wonder who's been preparing your food for the past week. Uh, research occult notes, call the police, do nothing. Oh, I've got a spell. The notes, li the notes lying nearby tell of ancient civilizations and unspeakable horror. You've managed to learn an incantation, but the horrifying image will stay with you for a long time. Plus spell. What's my spells actually? Hold on. Mind drain. Regain two reason. Deals five times. Oh, nice. <laughs> Cost minus one maximum reason. Oh, that's really good. So I can actually regain reason. I think, is this one time only or is it full use? Because I don't mind dropping one reason if I can actually just get my reason back up. <laughs> anyway, right, so following a rumor, you visit the house of a schoolgirl who acted really strange in class. The girl's parents sit crying in the living room and fearfully point you upstairs. Oh, nice. That should be pretty interesting. <clears throat> 130k. That's actually pretty good for a strat. Okay. You pace back and forth beside your desk, piled high with photographs, notes and documents relevant to your investigation. You're so close to cracking this wide open, you can taste it, but the pieces don't quite fit together. You must be missing something, but what could it be? Um, Weighing the evidence. I mean, our knowledge is quite high, so I would think probably investigate the photos closer. Nice. Oh, that's a perception check. Okay. 50 EXP. So you notice a commonality that slipped by you until now, drawing a connection that your therapy needed. No, your theory. Your theory needed. Now that your theory has its linchpin, it's time to act. She sits in a bedroom in a blood-stained uniform, a dead rat lying in her hands. Asked why she killed it, she just grins. Yes, therapy is needed. <laughs> therapy is absolutely needed. Wandering through an empty corridor, you find an old vending machine. You don't recognize the brands of sodas inside, but you could really use a drink. I can't afford it. <laughs> I can only get the cheapest one. Oh nice, dexterity check. You buy a can of off-brand soda and take a sip. It tastes a little odd, but you enjoy the drink anyway. Plus 5 EXP. Nice. Survive that one. Another lead. The former teacher of the class may prove useful. Knocking on their door, however, gets you no answer. Just subtle chittering behind the door. Um, go to the village. Okay. Walking through the village, you're suddenly pulled behind a building. Two menacing looking masked figures block your escape. Do you serve the old ones? Yes. <laughs> I got two allies for that! <laughs> we knew it, the prophecies were true. The masked figures relax a bit, taking off their masks. We apologize for this master. Plus two allies, plus seven doom. <laughs> I got two allies for that. 
plus five doom and plus one extra damage. The forest wants her dead. What about the other one? Mysterious janitor. Completing a mystery gains one stamina. Actually, that's quite nice. I don't know about her though. This is plus five doom, one extra damage. I'm like slightly concerned about that. Can I let her go? Is it worth letting her go? Or should I keep her? With plus one extra damage. I'm not sure if that's one damage to me or to them. To them. Oh, even better. Okay. The plus five doom is a bit of an issue though. <clears throat> right. The little boy from the school has been attacked by his classmates. I don't think so. I really need something that'll uh, drop my doom down though. Quick thinking. Alright, I got that. Got like five people following me right now. <laughs> Investigate hospital. <laughs> got a fucking gang of, gang of people behind me. As part of the therapy, some patients took part in art classes. Some of their work fills you with threat. Oh, fuck. Right, minus three reason. You find him in the hospital covered in bites. Just what is with this whole summoning that he speaks of between the sobs? Please don't take any more reason from me. You meet with your friend, who has recently started a nurse practice. You lazily chat on the roof of the hospital, watching the sunset. That would be the perfect opportunity to ask about the recent unearthly events. Ask about them. Oh god. <laughs> Their stories about missing patients, mysterious surgeries and a strange infection are helpful, but they kill the mood. Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! All right, okay, that's that's pretty cool. <clears throat> I kind of need to rest here, though. Like, I have only three reason left. Okay, good. Right, so with no other ideas, you decide to wait outside the school itself. Actually, I've got that spell, haven't I? Hold on. Yeah, I've got the spell as well, so if I need to, I can use the spell to regain reason. Gang of people. A woman bumps into you as she runs from a beauty parlor. Before you can say anything, you notice her face. She's carved out her own eyes. If I can't see it, she cries. It can't see me, right? You shudder. Seeing a faint vision of Goizo reflected in the beauty parlor's mirrors. Yeah, Mind Drain looks like a pretty interesting spell. Like, uh, what is it? You lose one maximum reason, which I think is like 17 to begin with. But you regain two reason and deal five damage. I think this is a one-shot spell that I'm assuming. It doesn't look like it's a reusable. If it's reusable, then that's even better because I can just spam it a little bit. <laughs> to get my uh, reason back up. <clears throat> yeah, it's probably... It looks like it might be reusable then, which is good. Resolve the event. Right, so faint chanting doesn't stop and no one enters or leaves the building. Okay, cool, that makes sense. Yeah, I'm not too, like, uh, clued up on all of the mechanics of this game yet, so thanks for the... Thanks for helping out with that. Because it always helps, like, fucking... There's loads of stuff in this game that I'm not aware of yet. Right, so, library. Getting access to the student database would certainly speed up your investigation, but the receptionist would never allow it. If only there was a way to make it go away for a while. Talk to it. Charisma check. Oh, nice. Unannounced inspections, he asks? Thank you for telling me. While well, the receptionist is busy updating some boring papers, you copy some names and addresses from the database. Nice, okay. You hear a scream coming from the school. It's time to enter. <laughs> you sneak in through a window and skulk across the shadowy corridors. All the classrooms have emptied out. Peering into one, you spot the corpse of a teacher nailed to the chalkboard. Shaking, you approach it. Ah, the artwork is so good. Nailed to the chalkboard. You spot an odd bulge protruding from his stomach. It writhes against your fingers as you probe it. Suddenly, the teacher's chest rips apart, showering the classroom with gore. 
From within, a child coated in meat and intestines leaps out, screeching with joy. Gold covered student. Right, so I actually want to try this spell first. Stamina damage, alright. It's alien, yeah. Mind drain. So, can I use it to cast this spell? Nice. Oh, so I can actually use it as much as I like. So that puts me to 16. 15. <laughs> 14. And then we attack. Right. She just in Actually, I can get my dudes to attack. 10 damage. I've got that many people. Right. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> to get a new level, press the flashing button. Yeah, cool. Right, so what we got here. Improvise. Throwing items during combat encounters is more effective. I'm not really carrying that many items though, so that's fine. Folklore studies. Plus one knowledge. Ooh. Knowledge of various rituals and myths. Mm. Outdoorsman. Plus one look. Attuned with the natural rhythm of life. I'm tempted to... Uh, go with knowledge, perhaps? <laughs> Zero four, what's up? No, the weird Moai is... It happened yesterday, plus I'm monochromatic if you haven't noticed. <laughs> uh, right, so I think I might want to... Uh, what am I going to go for here, though? Knowledge? Look. I think look might be pretty good, actually, because I'm already at plus eight knowledge. I'm not going to re-roll, no. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had 12 in a stat before. Uh, let's go with that and reason. Just top of my reason, because... Uh, <sighs> Do I want to... Hmm. Strength. <clears throat> Let's just go all in. As you near the gym hall, the chanting and rhythmic drums grow louder, threatening to intoxicate you. You creak the door open and stifle a scream. The entire school is gathered around a huge pole surrounded by black candles. From within, the bellowing of the beast being summoned echoes. The teacher stands at the front, covered in a purple robe, her true form revealed, and the screen is glitching. Like, I love the way that they actually make the... the the pseudo computer in this game actually corrupted as well. Like you can see the graphics doing that. That's actually the game design to make it look like the the software is getting like corrupted as well. Knowledge is power. Shiokawa school. Attack the teacher. Do I have flash? Oh, flash needs 80, shit. Uh, plus one doom. Let's go! Nice. Defeated the school. Oh, I'm badly bleeding shit. Oh god, when did that happen? Oh dear. <laughs> With a dying scream, the teacher throws herself into the portal. Oh, did it? Was the last time I got hit? Fuck. The vicious master shows no mercy. You hear it devour her before the connection shuts. Confused children lie on the ground crying. Thanks to you, however, they are safe. <clears throat> Tragic tale of the thaumaturgy teacher. teacher. Ending A. Okay. Uh, 30 plus 15 experience. Minus 3 doom. Plus 1 day. Plus 1 stamina for Hiroyuki. Okay. So that actually offsets that possible damage that I just had there. The friendly dog disappeared last night. You will have to find a new place to buy equipment. Well, that's fine. I'm not buying any equipment anyway. Rip doggo! 
<laughs> Rip Doggo. <laughs> Take the key. Right, I can't use the bath, unfortunately, because the water's all fucked, so... The search for a missing person continues in the forest surrounding Shiokawa. If you have any information, please contact the police department. Okay. That guy's still looking. <laughs> Probably just my imagination. I need to go to the hospital ASAP. Right. Chilling chronicle of a crimson cape. Or bloody brief of a beckoning bulletin. Um, sorrowful saga of the Moonlight Sailors. No, the eel guy was in a different apartment, I think. <clears throat> oh no, it was it was our um, it was our neighbor, wasn't it? Yeah, so that was him. So let's go to. You want to do the Moonlight Sailors? Okay, well, I'll, uh, I'll trust your, uh, your judgment on this. Also, I haven't even been taking any notes of this run, so if I get asked questions later, I don't know. Alright, <laughs> let's do this one. It began with one fisherman who dragged something truly awful from the belly of the ocean. A dark, writhing ooze that mesmerized him beyond control. He hid himself away for a week, adoring it. Not to be seen until one moonlit night when a young girl spotted his boat drifting away, a single lantern swinging at the helm, and the captivated fisherman singing eerily to his catch. Now more and more fishermen have begun to find the vile ooze in their nets, and one by one they are disappearing. Soon the ocean will have taken them all. I need to go to the hospital, hold on. Does I actually have to fix that problem before anything else happens? Morgue. I'll go in the patient room. Reception area. To do. All right. So, how are we feeling today? Let's use this. Feel weak. I've only got one fund left, so let's do it. Oh, thank God. Stable condition. Nice. Can I steal the uh, the pills? <laughs> Should I steal the pills? Yeah. Cool. Goodbye. <laughs> See you later. Ah, oh, I need to discard two items. Fuck, I don't have any money. Plus two stamina's alright though. So I can't do this subquest because I don't have any items to discard. Oh, the music is so good in this. So investigate downtown. You start your investigation hoping to hear some rumors at the fish market. I don't want to unequip anything right now. <laughs> Through the dirty restaurant window, you notice a shady-looking man wearing a symbol covered in, <laughs> wearing a jacket covered in strange symbols. He stops in front of a house, visibly nervous. Before he enters the house, he turns around as if he's checking for any un un unwanted followers. What could it mean? Call the police. Oh yeah, fuck improvised weapons. I always forget about that because I've I've had the carpenter hammer. I just never really remember to actually pick anything up from the ground. <clears throat> always forget about that. Right, so call the police. Oh, minus one reason. You can't convince a police officer to take you seriously, and by the time you manage to find a willing cop, the house is empty. Fuck. Well, minus one reason. Although you braved the stench for hours, you glean nothing besides the fact that the fisherman had a wife. Perhaps you should pay her a visit? Okay. Yeah, as long as I can actually get two fights. Well, here's one. Um, stop right there, you hear a voice coming from behind you. You won't destroy my life's work! Obsessed man. Right. Board actions, combat skill, look for an improvised weapon. Use flash. Actually wait, let's use the flash first, then find an improvised weapon. Hmm. 
Yeah, I mean, it should be fine for now, but he's got like 40 power, which means he's probably going to do a lot of... Uh, he's going to hit, land a few hits. I got the broken ball. Nice. Okay. Turn two begins. I'm going to do that again, though. Right. Flash. Improvise. Good. <coughs> Dodged. Okay, good. I'm actually going to continue flash. I needed 48 for that. Okay. There's one. Ah, shit. <laughs> Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, it is, isn't it? <coughs> Enemy roars in rage. Okay. Just flash again, just in case both of those attacks miss. <sighs> yeah, let's go! Yeah, it seems like we're in a really good spot right now, though. Right, so what have we got here? Leadership, Charisma. Actually, that might be useful. Deduction. Bonus EXP gain for completing a mystery or fast hands. Allows switching of equipment during combat encounters. I'm not really expecting to equip anything else here, though. That could be nice, but I don't know how much EXP it is. Um... No. <laughs> it's just cards, not 20 fingers. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, I might put it in reason here, just in case, because I'm slightly concerned about reason damage right now. I would put it in strength, but I think 979 is all right for now. Um, let's all come back. Let's. Right, so let's discard these. Is it discard, isn't it? Yeah, discard. Okay, right, so. And then discard. Nice. You find a huge pile of nets and hooks prepared for the big hunt. You quickly throw them into the ocean. Maybe that'll stop them from sailing out. Okay. When you arrive at the fisherman's house, it stands long vacated. Peering in through the dusty window, you recoil in shock. You find a heavy tome wrapped in moth-eaten black velvet in an old locked cabinet. When you remove the book's wrappings, you recoil in disgust. It's bound in human flesh. Burn it! <laughs> burn it! Do we burn it or do we keep it? <laughs> Read it, burn it or take it. Read it, burn it or take it. I mean, I've got 9 perception, 8 knowledge. So, I think we might be okay with the check, perhaps? Do we read it or take it? Or set it on fire? <laughs> I've got a vote for burning here. <laughs> read it, but it's sus. It's very sus, isn't it? I mean, reading it might give us a spell. You never know, it's a cursed grimoire, so... I'm thinking take it, actually. Take it. Oh, I've got an injury shit. Grab a book, you cut yourself on a rusty nail. Fatal Flora. Oh. Oh, wow. <laughs> Deals 8, planet, 8 damage to plant enemies. I can sell it. What was my uh, status? Exposed. What? Oh my. Oh shit. Hold on. <laughs> um, fuck, 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 fuck. I think I might want to sell that actually. Let's go to the hospital very quickly. That is so bad. Hi, Doc. Heal me, please. Oh, two funds! <gasps> Shh. Uh. Oh, crap. Uh. 
Oh, sell the painkillers. Okay, yeah, I need to heal that. That is so bad. Hi, Doc. Fix this for me, please. <sighs> Discharge summary. Discard 20 XP. Oh, nice. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're back, we're back, we're back, we're back. I just lost the painkillers though, so that sucks. <laughs> um, Alright, so let's go to the mansion then. Fisherman's wife flies in the kitchen, mutilated and covered with black marks. What's a big Malone? This is not an easy round at all. We're like halfway through and 56%. <clears throat> Hearing a shuffling sound coming from behind the wardrobe, you decide to push it out the way. You discover a niche in the wall. Someone has put three dusty dolls in there. When you re try to reach and grab one, however, they jump off and scatter around the room, giggling. Puppet Matron. 22, one all damage, alright, so... Time needed 76. Oh, shit. Damn it. I need one more strength. Fuck. Um, it's okay, this should be. But the matron stabs you in the shin. That's there's like a step. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> Kill. Nice. Surely someone else must have caught one of those. You lurk around hoping to spot one of them. Investigate the seaside. I've got so many people tagging along that my damage is quite high now. Something gigantic and invisible leaves a deep void in the sea. It's not moving, but you swear it's watching you. The young man has glassy eyes and mumbles his replies as he caresses his catch, the beating movements of his arms disturb you. Yeah, these fights look really tough right now actually, so thanks for that. <laughs> Something pulls you towards a beach. A statuette, half buried in the sand, is calling you. Feeling your hands shaking, you take a step closer. I can't ignore it, can I? Does that mean I can't select that? Should I take it with me? Take it, ignore it. I think I'm thinking ignore it, but it might not let me click it. Ignore it. <laughs> Despite your sudden desire, you get hold of yourself. Moving away from it, you quickly forget the whole encounter. Five experience, nice okay. After a slow interrogation, the young man manages to stutter around something about all. After a slow interrogation, the young man manages to stutter out something about an organized fishing trip. This chapter seems really long, by the way. <laughs> In the summer of 1971, an entire class trip fell into the sea when a rock they were standing on collapsed. The bodies were never found. Until now. What the hell is that? <laughs> what the fly in hell is that? Can I? I mean, that should be a decent amount, right? Ah, missed. Fuck.
Nice. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, this seems like something you do quite early on, I think. Investigate the beach. Full moon shines bright in the cloudless night sky. The ink black ocean waves glimmer eerily. All the residents have drawn their shutters tight and locked their doors. Your footsteps are silent in the sand. The only audible sounds are your ragged breathing and pounding heartbeat. You arrive at the water's edge, breathless. The possessed fisherman's boats fill the horizon with their light. Tiny yellow spots navigating across a dark ocean under a dark sky. You cannot make out the figures on board. It's not the sailors. The black beings must have left their bodies. Shocked you watch them sail the way out of the harbour. You are terrified at their power, but relieved that they don't drag their meat puppets with them. Oh, we finished, okay. The black beings never returned, yet mothers would not let their children play on the beach. Over time, people forgot the last time they saw a boat out on the waves. Although some claim they see strange beings come into the port at night. So 30 plus 15, minus 3 doom. One reason and one stamina. And another stamina. Nice, okay, good. We're actually doing okay. The doom issue, though. <laughs> the doom is a bit of an issue, though. Right, so reporter's bag and inventory slot. Throwing items. Neither of these are any good. I might go for the reporter's bag, actually. <clears throat> <laughs> Hmm. I might go for the reporter's bag, actually. I don't really want to re-roll at this point because I'm like 57%. Uh, yeah, let's do that. I'm going to add plus one to strength as well. I was going to take some more reason, but at the moment it seems like we're okay. <laughs> yeah, let's go for 10 strength. Oh god time, the Crimson Moon spotted over Shiokawa keeps everyone on edge. All enemies get additional 20 power, oh god. Oh god. Alright, take the key. Can't take a bath. What's on TV? The search for a mission third there, yeah, you've seen that one already. We're always, we are shocked by what she did. Her voice was always so calm. Is that because of the teacher? Yeah. Seen that one already. Seen that one already. Yeah, it's the same. Oh, local police are helpless as more and more victims turn up in the downtown area with their throats slashed. <laughs> Censored. Right. Hey, you! I see you. <laughs> Right, uh, right, number four then, I've got a choice. Uh, let's do the Crimson Cape next. A new game is spreading among your friends. A dare to stay in the unused school restroom after classes. A dare to meet Akamanto. What was originally harmless fun has turned deadly. The body of a boy was found last week. School principal has banned the game, but that's only made it more popular. Akamanto must be stopped before another kid is killed. Gather gossip about the mystery, okay. Schoolyard? It's gonna cost Doom to get in there though. Goss. Can I add? Okay, no more than. I keep hearing a wailing sound from the third stall in the girl's bathroom, is that it? When Akamanto asks which paper you want, you must refuse everything. Okay, that's helpful. Recently the tap water in my the tap water in my entire neighborhood started tasting weird, almost like Observe. Damn it. Observe. Damn it. <laughs> Observe. Damn it. Okay, that's fine. You've heard some versions of the legend. Everyone agrees you can't take anything the man offers you, though. 
Right, good. Let's get to school. One of your friends says he doesn't believe in curses and he intends to take the dangerous dare. He intends to complete the dangerous dare, sorry. The door shouldn't be there. It shouldn't need anywhere. More importantly, it shouldn't pull you in. Resist. <laughs> I know exactly what that door is. You force yourself to leave the mysterious door behind. I'm at Charisma Max, am I? <clears throat> okay. Lucky then. You've reported it to your principal who promises he will take care of it. With your friends safe for now, you should look into the legend. Maybe records in the city library make mention of Akamanto? Well, I've got in the library, eh? i just got to investigate downtown anyway. Alright. It's getting dark as you arrive at the cemetery and shadows move in fantastic and unaccountable ways between the tombstones. Finding the right grave may prove to be a challenge, especially when you feel someone's gaze on your back. You need shovel item. <laughs> um, I think continue looking, maybe? Hey, perception check. You quickly find the tombstone marked with red string. Under a stone, you find a note someone left for you. Okay, good. You read a story about a vengeful samurai, known for wearing a crimson red cape. It's an interesting find for sure, but you need to find more information. Ten followers, what the hell? <laughs> I think I've got like, how many? One, two, three, four, five, six, no, five. I've got five followers. Okay. This run is actually kind of ridiculous right now, though, with the stuff that I have. But the, the Doom issue at the moment, that's a problem. I'm tempted to rest, actually, in order to recover some strength, but it's plus five Doom if I do that. I could use the spell, though, to increase reason if I need to. Okay. At the gym. Yeah, I've got five in the pocket, but it's also plus one damage as well, though, so... Suddenly everything slows to a crawl. Oh, it's you. Alright, okay. Um... Attack! Been 90 to hit that, so what's that? 17, okay, good. Right. <laughs> nice, good job, allies. <coughs> One of your articles mentioned a young doctor who performed life saving surgery on a victim of a brutal assault. The assault happened in a toilet stall. Maybe he still works at the hospital and can share information? Hospital de room. Yeah, it's because we had to go to the hospital twice in order to fix some status problems that uh, has caused some issues with this run. I think we would have been around about 58% doom, like if it wasn't for the hospital trips. Possibly it might do. I'm sorry, have you seen the doctor? He suddenly disappeared and I'm not sure where the sur whether the surgery is over. Oh, come on, really? <sighs> Just fight all of them. <laughs> you learn that the doctor suddenly left the hospital after the latest murder, taking all of the records with him. Why would he do that? It's not the only bad news. Your friend didn't come to school today and another body has supposedly been found. Check that spell again. Is it plus two? Oh yeah, plus two and five damage. Okay. This hammer is supposed to actually give me stamina if I attack people with it, but uh, yeah, surprisingly powerful though. I 
I like the color scheme actually, it's it's a lot better than the one I was using yesterday. <laughs> Forgotten patient stabs you with a rib bone. <laughs> right, okay. We're uh, going to school. You catch a glimpse of an art class. One disturbing pa painting draws your attention. Needs art knowledge. Okay, take a peek horrified. Minus two stamina. Well, you gasp in pure horror. The twisted faces, impossible angles, and enormous monoliths make you sick. Uh. Hmm. Can we actually finish this up? Bad time to be out of cash, says the grim looking man who's standing in your way. Oh god, you. Our company fortunately specializes in cases like yours, and will gladly help you get back on track after all. He takes a step closer, and you could swear there's a faint smell of rust around the man. Everyone has something to sell. On this memory. <laughs> you break the window and get inside the school unnoticed. The cursed toilet is located on the third floor. Get over there! You enter the kitchen. Even though it's abandoned and the lights are off, something is cooking in a large pot. You don't like the smell of it. Look for first aid kit. Ah, uh, knowledge check. Shit. Right, so that's more knowledge that you need for that? Is that 9 or 10 then? Alright, well, no turning back now. You step into the last stall and close the door behind you. No, it's random, is it? Damn it. You in the stall, trying to be as quiet as possible. Suddenly, squish, squeak. You hear the, you hear the sound of rubber boots as an unknown liquid drips on the tiles. Squish, squeak. You can hear the to you can see the top of his head. He's taller than any man you've ever seen. Squish, squeak. The door slowly opens. A masked man dressed in a red coat, clearly too tall for the ceiling, emerges from outside. Nice face, by the way. Tell me, his voice sounds like a faulty radio. Would you like red paper or blue paper? I don't want anything from you. The tall man in the red coat slowly takes the mask off as stall walls wither and rot and reality starts to crumble. What's my maximum... No, what's my maximum reason at the moment? I'm just going to use this a couple of times. One. <laughs> Two. <laughs> Fourteen, is it? Yeah, I'm using them now. Yeah, it doesn't tell me what my maximum stats are, though. Two all damage, is it? Hmm. Gotta be careful here, though. Okay, let's mind drain him again. There we go, right. <clears throat> oh, really? That's a problem. <laughs> Just in case. What? How did you miss? Oh my god. Is it, oh, I can't have any more. Fuck. Uh. <sighs> god damn. Shit. Hit actions max, yeah. Yeah, no prep guarantees a hit. Fuck. When you wake up, you find yourself back in the toilet stall, thinking it was all a dream you stand up, only to hear a crack from under your shoe. There lies a broken mask. A crimson mask. Like a manto might return one day, but now you know that ancient horrors can be defeated. That is so bad. Deduction. Fast hands. Improvise. 
Uh, I'll take deduction actually. I'm gonna need stamina. <laughs> it might be worth resting, yeah. I'm gonna take stamina for this and then rest like a little bit. Oh god, stirs. A feeling of paranoia and discomfort is almost palpable in the air. Imposing shadow cast by the old, loud, old lighthouse is getting longer each day. Lighthouse gets one additional floor. Oh Christ. <laughs> right, four keys. Yeah, the extra floor, that sucks. The fact that I can't use the bath really sucks. <laughs> Just wish I could have used the bath. Time to change my shirt then, just because I'm probably stinking right now. <laughs> Wait, does it doesn't show you the uh, the eldritch horror in the mirror, even though it's Goiza in this one? <clears throat> Are you on TV? A minor earthquake in the seaside region has revealed an entrance to a partially flooded cavern system. Local scientists believe some of the corridors could be man-made. Interesting. Nobody outside. <laughs> Save progress and exit the game. <laughs> right, fuck it. YOLO the last one. As the decades roll on, technology has only developed further. These days, computer built-in board software allows computers to communicate over phone lines. All it takes is a computer and a modem, and anyone can connect to the built-in system, or even host one of their own. Once you connect, you can read all of the messages on that built-in, and even post your own to start a conversation. Many use them to share files or to chat about their favourite topics. Everything from video games to sports to idol culture. But in the wake of a sudden string of weird suicides, things aren't all fun in games. Rumours have surfaced that the deaths are linked to a built-in system operated from somewhere within Shiokawa. What is behind the suicides? How could so many people all be driven to take their own lives? I need to rest. Okay. Investigate the forest twice. Should we? Yeah, okay. Let's do the side quest as well. You have a feeling that you're being watched and when you hear a branch snapping you quickly turn around. Needs real Carly. There is someone standing in the trees just a few meters away. Start running. You make it to the edge of the woods scared but safe. Oof. <laughs> One more. Abandoned hut. A sudden storm forces you to find shelter in a nearby cave. Looking around, you discover strange markings on the cave's walls. Hey, five experience again. Nice. <coughs> you recognize the strange symbols and connect them to the horrors plaguing your town. Bunch of sigils, yeah. There you go, an item. Forest note. After searching deep in the woods for some time, you discover the body of a young student clutching a note. Yeah, so this note we need for later. I write this for everyone wanting to stay behind. The sacrifice is worth it. Life's meaning comes from our relationships. Share death, and that connection will outlast you. There won't be anything left but us. Everyone here is waiting for you, so if you lose your resolve, just listen to the voice of humanity. Right, let's do it. Your reflection twists and shimmers when you're not looking at it directly. Goiza is getting closer. Oh god. Uh, we have a curse? Masochistic. <laughs> Minus two max reason. <laughs> oh dear. Welp. Um, that sucks. Plus one reason at the start of each enemy encounter. <laughs> so while the school... While the school library's computer doesn't have a modem, you happen to bump into a member of the computer club while asking around. 
Uh, she apparently just got a new system and is willing to let you borrow hers. Thanking her, you arrange to meet at her home in the city. Yeah, well, it sucks. I think my reason is completely tanked now anyway, so... <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Alarmed by the sound of glass breaking, you discover the corpse of a policeman lying in a pool of blood. It looks like someone or something tore out his throat. Check his wounds for clues. You didn't. They they didn't tear out his throat, but instead carved an occult symbol with something sharp. You try to remember the shape and escape before anyone arrives. Nice. Getting some EXP here though, this is good. You load the cardboard you load the cardboard box full of PC parts up your apartment stairs, teeth clenched as you heave it up one step at a time. Yeah, considering computers were pretty big back then. God damn our computers heavy. Investigate apartments. No, I haven't used the gun yet. <clears throat> Excuse me, do you have a moment to talk about our real Lord and Saviour? The day of reckoning is coming, says the voice on the other side of the line. You definitely don't like the way the man on the other side of the line puts an accent on real? Hello? Are you still there? Nope. <laughs> you put down the phone a little shaken up. Just how many people did that odd man call today? Minus one reason. You wipe the sweat from your you wipe the sweat from your brow as you finally finish setting up the computer in your bedroom. After a few tests, you're now certain that everything is functional. The newscaster on the TV says that the suicide rate is still climbing. Worse, the morbid trend is beginning to catch on in other nearby towns. You need to act quickly. <laughs> you stop by home to pick up your lunch. You find a pile of letters on your mailbox. Minus two funds. Oh fuck. <laughs> Shit. Minus two funds. Best to get the hospital. Hoping to find a lead, you head to the hospital. With how many deaths there have been, the hospital is in chaos. The staff look exhausted. When the receptionist lets her head down onto the desk for a minute, you slip out of the waiting room and into the hospital corridors. Oh, you again. Um, Jar of blood? Yeah, okay, that was worth it. <coughs> Stamina is okay, though. You start all the way on a park bench. Did you faint? There's no sign of the... Grim man anywhere, but you find an envelope full. Yeah, whatever. Right. Uh, do I want to risk going home for rest again? Yes. Okay. You overhear two nurses talking about a girl whose suicide attempt failed. Apparently, she is recovering at her grandparents' home in the village in the city outskirts. You exit the hospital and make your way to the nearest bus stop. This one's pretty long, though. While you walk through the crowded space, someone bumps at you and quickly apologizes. Someone's just pickpocketed me. <laughs> yep, minus two funds. Oh no, a perception check success. They stole your wallet, you quickly grab their arm and they drop it before disappearing in the crowd. Oh thank god. Right, as you pull into the village bus stop, a new story comes on the bus driver's radio. An entire class of Shiokawa students leapt in front of a train hand in hand. That's a film, by the way. You move urgently as you exit the bus and begin, and begin searching down the village streets. Poverty run, yeah. Field? Un unseasonal floods have closed many of the roads. Look for an alternate way. Oh god. You wasted a lot of time for a safe path. This is going badly. When you find the girl's house, her, grandpa her grandparents greet you solemnly. They thank you for your effort to stop the deaths. Forgive her, her grandfather says as he leads you to her bedroom. She's a kind girl. Something has happened to her. I really need to get rid of some doom, you know. No priest is performing a ritual to appease the local demon imprisoned underground. You're invited to join them. Participate? Yeah! Oh, I've got the ritual dagger! Oh, we got the ritual dagger! <laughs> Small chance of recovering reason after defeating an enemy. Oh, that's good. 
That's interesting. <laughs> That's mean. I've got two weapons. One recovers stamina after defeating an enemy. And now I've got a weapon that recovers reason after defeating an enemy. <laughs> the only problem is it, it needs knowledge. So I've only got like 8 knowledge rather than 10 strength for the other one. So how much do I get for it? Oh, plus 1 funds. Okay. Nice. Okay. The, the recovering girl is more than happy to not only confirm the Bolton's existence, but to give you its number. You have to do what it tells you. Trust me, you won't regret a thing. She beams at you as her grandmother struggles to make her swallow the pain medication. I'll be back to join you all soon. Wait for me, okay? Disquieted, you give the grandparents your phone number and hastily leave. Minus two stamina. Oh goddamn! That pair has been following you since morning. You finally managed to lose them, but can't shake the feeling that it will only get worse. Fuck's sake! As soon as you arrive home, you dial the computer and you dial the number and put the handset onto the modem. Your heart pounds as the computer fans exhale. The system hums. You hear a brief dial tone, and then it finally connects. Time for the uh, time for the boss. Okay. Welcome home. Did you like it so far? Yes. I'm glad. Take your phone off the modem and put it to your ear. Remember the note. You recall the note you found. Could this be the voice of humanity you read about? Bracing yourself, you slowly put the phone to your ear. You don't hear words or a voice. You soon understand they, they don't need those. It's difficult, but you manage to keep track of which thoughts are yours and which are theirs. Everyone is here now. We've escaped everything that held us back in life. We don't have any more burdens. You can escape with us. This is the purest form of existence. A paradise of connection. Everyone deserves that. We will bring all humanity together. I don't want to die? <laughs> you can't save everyone. Suffering is human. I did suffering was, is human the last time. I don't want to die. It's okay, you don't have to be scared. We will make it easy. Soothing thoughts of... Uh, soothing thoughts... Oh, shit. 15% max reason goes up, though. Soothing thoughts that aren't your own overwhelm your mind. Whether you want it or not, your mind is shielded from the fear of death. Their thoughts become yours. It's nice. You want to stay like this. You listen to the staticky signal on the other end. It's harsh to your ear, but then the noise begins to slowly change into something beautiful. You want to join it. Oh, it's you. <laughs> Can I do this? Apparently, yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Draining the mind of the internet. <laughs> oh, okay, right. So it's on 64 power, though. Did I use hair? Okay. Should we prepare ally and then this? Yes. Nice. Okay, so prepare ally, then this. <laughs> yes, let's go! Let's fucking go. Right, well, we got folklore studies plus one knowledge. Uh, improvise. Yeah, plus one. Um, I think I want to take stamina here. <laughs> Computer gone, sanity restored. Hell yeah. I actually want to get rid of one of my companions as well just to get that minus five doom. Okay. I think we should be alright. You wrench the phone from your ear, nearly tossing it across the room. You could have killed yourself for that thing. Sweat pouring down your face, you immediately yank the computer's plug from the socket. From the Bulletin's number in the phone book, you find the system operator's address. When you enter the cramped apartment, you are met with a smiling, hanged teenager on a still running unplugged computer. You smash it to pieces. With the root cause gone, the suicide's eventually slow. 
While you couldn't save those already in its thrall, you're relieved to know the bulletin won't take any more new victims. Plus 50 experience. Ooh, plus 65 EXP, holy shit. Minus 3 doom, plus... Yeah, okay, so that's good. Preparing for the worst. People are stocking up on everything, making it harder for you to find what they want. Price hike! Right, so we only have the lighthouse left to do. Um, but what I want to do is I want... <laughs> I've got so much here that it actually extends past the actual menu. <laughs> right, is it Kyoko? Can I actually get rid of her to um, remove minus five doom? Should I do that? Because I don't think I need damage now, right? Okay, good. So, please work. Yes, nice. So we're on 81% doom. Can I use the bath? <laughs> Shall we put something nice and jazzy on for this? Okay. Well, this is gonna suck, so... <sighs> Alright. I hope I've got enough reason. Lighthouse time. Right, you finally made it inside the Cursed Lighthouse. Your gut is telling you two things, that whoever or whatever is behind the weird events must be on the highest floor of this place and that you should run away from this place as far and as fast as you can. You're afraid there won't be a way back once you start climbing those stairs. Um, should I take plus two doom just to rest a little bit more? Should I... Should I do this? Yes. <laughs> right. Uh, okay, so let's just roll with that for now then. Start climbing. Following the winding staircase, you are stopped by Metal Gate. The tiny page nailed to the gate explains that opening the gate will require you to grab two metal rods. Using your own body as a natural conductor, you power up the gate. Oh nice, I passed it. <laughs> You're about to grab the rods when you notice the dials and buttons. You toy with them for a bit before adjusting both voltage and current so that it's safe for you to grab them. With a buzz, the gate opens. Following the winding staircase, oh, I've actually got the XP, so I can actually take some for art knowledge. And reason, please, please, please. Ah, I'm capped at reason. Okay, that's fine. <coughs> Following the winding staircase, you are stopped by darkness. A black cloud is obscuring your vision. And you can swear something is waiting for you inside of it. And when you're climbing, minus three reason. Welp. <coughs> Following the winding staircase, you find a metal gate that blocks your way. It's locked, but you... Notice an electrical cable. It seems to connect the door to a hole inside the central pillar. If there's a switch inside, you'll have to risk getting cut by the numerous glass shards and knives. Find a switch. Minus three stamina. Okay, that's fine. Not enough dex. You can feel the sharp glass ripping your flesh as you search for the switch. And finally, you grab a cable and follow it with your bleeding fingers until you find a button. With a buzz, the gate opens. Yeah, I've got the spell if I need it. You're stopped by a girl wearing dirty black school uniform. I'm sorry, but I can't let you go any further, she says, reaching for a bag. It's too late anyway. You instinctively take a step back when you notice a knife or in a hand. You have to think fast. Try to reason with it. Minus two reason. Okay, that's bad. <laughs> Following the winding staircase, you are... Uh, stop, wait a minute. Someone has been taking photos focused on you. The photos include the enemies you fought... Uh, fought with. There's something wrong, but you can't precisely say what. Oh, shit. Are you sure it's the Drowner Sponge? Are we absolutely sure it's the Drowner Sponge? Gossip was the first one. Okay. Nice, thank you. <laughs> 
you rip the photo. Underneath it is a tiny button. You press it down for the buzz, the gate opens. Yeah, I haven't been taking notes while I've been playing, so... Following the winding staircase, you are... Stop, wait a minute. Someone broke into your apartment, stole all the clues and newspaper clippings and pinned them here. The more you study them, the you discover you can't remember remember any of them except one. Select the title of the second mystery you investigated. That was the third one. That was the fourth one. This is the second one. Yeah, it's the teacher. Because the eels was the fourth one, I think, wasn't it? No. Wait. That's definitely the third one. I did that one second to last. Eels was the first one. Teacher, is it? Yeah, nice one, thank you. You rip the newspaper, clipping of a case you seem to remember. Underneath it is a tiny button. You press it and with a buzz, the gate opens. A dark cloud swirl around the lighthouse. Did you arrive too late? Let's go! <laughs> As the unnatural frog slowly lifts, you're relieved and collapse on the floor. First clear. Let's go. Ah, oh, that was good. <laughs> that was good. What's up, Twilight? Good evening. Thank you for the GGs, guys. Thanks for the help as well. That was like, like I said, I haven't been taking any notes at all, so I have no idea what's been going on. But now that I know some of the questions that they ask you, I think I'm going to have to start taking notes properly when I'm playing now. Let's go. Congratulations, you are safe for now. Is that everybody that we had? No, that's all the uh, the people there. Yeah, you have to do the quizzes. <clears throat> I would rather take a stat penalty, like um, health or um, reason, like stamina or reason, than actually taking doom, because doom is just, it creeps upon you really quickly. The next day, everything feels like a bad dream. You've managed to stop the ritual awakening, the eldritch old god. Um, but what's done is done. It will stir in its slumber again and again until the stars are right once more. Congratulations, you are safe for now. Yeah, it sucks. It does suck, but uh, it is what it is. Right, congratulations, you survived. Level 8. Difficulty level cultist. Carpenter, hammer, camera, and a compass. I had them from the very beginning, funny enough. Uh, summoned all god, Goizo. Incoming doom, 89%. Chosen timeline, A. Your playthrough was 95 minutes, which is 5 minutes less than what I did yesterday. In this run, you solve 5 mysteries, saw 28 new events, 11 new enemies, 6 achievements. Nice. Yeah, that was really lucky that we got that follower as part of that, um, you know, two, um, two crazy people event. Like, um, I just guessed at the answer for that and we ended up getting it, so quite nice. <clears throat> but yeah, that was pretty lucky that we had that because I think, I mean, we could have still done it actually because uh, without her, um, we probably would have been about 95% doom here, but I think the extra damage that I was get getting with her was helping a lot because um, I was using my gang of followers to do damage at the end there because... Uh, I had so many followers that they, um, they were doing like 10 damage when they hit. So I was like, okay, well, that's that's a big weapon hit there. <clears throat> that was pretty good. That was nice. Um, I might do another run, actually. So it's pretty early. 